Hello, everybody. I'm Andre, and I work for JetBrains as a Senior Vice President of Investments, Research, and Education. Welcome to Regionals. Great things happen when great minds come together. JetBrains wants to seek out great minds all across the globe, support their initiatives, and work together to create great things that will make the world a better place. That's why JetBrains is proud to be a global tool sponsor of the ICPC. There are already many great minds working at JetBrains, and together we have created some amazing things, like the Kotlin programming language, for example. It keeps on growing and growing in popularity. In 2017, Google began officially supporting Kotlin as a language for writing Android applications. We have also created professional development tools like Celine for C++ programmers, IntelliJ IDEA for Java, PyCharm for Python, and also educational tools that help people learn and teach programming. The regionals are the biggest contest in the ICPC calendar. Thousands of talented people all over the world team up to solve complex real-world challenges. These contests are the proving ground for future champions but even if you don't make it through to the finals, the experience of competing in the regionals and the new friends you make along the way are priceless. Enjoy the ride. Best of luck to everyone. The second easiest problem of the set was express the number. And uh, 1,918 teams solved this problem. This problem was prepared by me and uh, Ashwin would be taking for the explanation. Yeah, so the problem was like given a number and we had to represent it as sum of k numbers. And uh, there's this condition with the k numbers was that like the first number could be less than or equal to a given x and or like the first number could be a odd power of two and remaining numbers in the k numbers should be odd power of two. Uh, so to start with the obvious, uh, like uh, x can be zero, and like the not possible condition would be like if x is zero and n is odd, we would never be able to make one uh, required to, for the number to be odd, and so it would be a not possible condition. In the other ways, uh, what we would do is like uh, take the binary representation of uh, the number n, and there would be like uh, each bit would be a two's power, and if two it's Two raised to k and like it's greater than x then we skip it otherwise we subtract it um, from the number and if it's two raised to k is greater than x we increase the answer by one and for even powers we can know that like uh, even powers of like uh, two can be represented as sum of two odd powers if k is even we can represent it as two raised to k minus one plus two raised to k minus one so what we, we can do here is again subtract two raised to k minus one from the n so Every time we find a power of two that is like less than x, uh, we keep uh, we keep subtracting it from no, uh, we keep subtracting the, uh, subtracting the two's power uh, till like uh, the number becomes n becomes like less than or equal to x. So uh, once the number becomes less than or equal to x, then whatever is left over can be taken as the first number, and we can say that okay, like the first number is the left over and the remaining number of uh, two's power that we eliminated is part of the answer and we obviously include the first number that is the a1 uh, and like the total number of numbers that we found out would be the minimum or the best way to represent the, the n as sum of k numbers so in this question we were supposed to minimize k so this is one of the strategies